This is Around Town with Tanika, the Red Chair Edition. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tanika with Tanika Donnell Realty and today on our edition of Around Town with Tanika, the Red Chair Edition, I'm so excited. I have one of our favorite places in Mansfield. I like to bring you new content and I think this store is incredible. So today I have the DFW District Manager for the Painted Tree, Isabella Gonzalez. Hello. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You know what, I'm excited because I love the kind of store that you have. It's very unique. Yes. So thank you today for uh, just talking about it. Yeah. So it's called The Painted Tree. Mm -hmm. What's the story behind the store? How did they get started? So The Painted Tree was just two Arkansas families. From Arkansas, yes. not Texas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> our, home location, our home location is in Arkansas. Okay. Um, they just had a dream of providing small business owners this unique opportunity wow yeah so and they just that's how they just got so started they started with one store and now they're here in mansfield and yeah and we're in mansfield now so why the painted tree is there any significance behind that name yes so it's actually kind of a cute story i told you it was started by two arkansas families mm -hmm. but one of the families they were trying to think of something catchy something that would be a good business name and the wife saw a picture of a lip like a painted tree it was uh -huh. a, a tree that was painted right of course and so you know the husband was like you know that's that's kind of catchy and so they started like thinking about it and they were like you know this business we want it to be like a tree to grow to flourish to to get some roots and to to grow upwards plant some other seeds you know and so and that's exactly what each store does exactly We're helping small businesses to flourish and grow yep i love that isn't it sweet it is, it is. well yeah. congratulations to you you are expecting i am yes well this has got to be kind of hard going to work because i'm sure every day you go in there looking for baby stuff oh my so kind of if i were expecting would this be a good place for me to go oh, for, to, oh for my baby goodness things? yes it is so hard the temptation is so real <laughs> We have the cutest baby things in, in Mansfield. I mean, we have a bunch of cute baby of course, things in all of, of our course, locations, of but I'm a little partial to Mansfield. It has it. But we have so many So what do you have your eye on? Baby vendors. Oh, you know those cute little, right now those onesies are in that are yeah. like neutral tones and just like, soft, soft yeah. and cute we have so many of those right now and uh -huh. i just it's so hard not to spend all my money <laughs> <laughs> so you're there working but you spend it all oh yeah yeah and then we have cute furniture vendors that mm -hmm. just have the cutest dang things and i just want so from everything. bedding to uh cribs maybe mm -hmm. to strollers yep pretty much everything that you'd find in the previous uh what is that babies are us mm -hmm. could you, could i find it there oh yeah a lot of that stuff for sure um maybe not like all the technical things <laughs> like diapers and stuff right. but the cute stuff right for there. sure <laughs> so isabella tell us what you do exactly at the painted tree so i am the dfw district manager mm -hmm. i oversee uh all of the dfw locations I am the manager for the Mansfield location, but we also have three other locations. Wow. In Frisco, Highland Village, and North Richland Hills. Okay. So I, in my store, really just watch the store, watch mm -hmm. the vendors, you know, keep track of the employees. And we also have managers in each of those stores. I see. So I kind of help those managers out. Manage their own stores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, with COVID just in the pandemic, how did that really affect the painted tree? You know what's so crazy is after covid we came back strong i love that yeah um i think the public was excited to get back out there and we opened up may 15th after the pandemic that was mm -hmm. actually my first day on the job oh, was it i okay. know so it was really <laughs> crazy seeing going from shopper before to part of the store after and just mm -hmm. seeing the foot traffic increase and just seeing um People were just excited. They had all these months of sitting at home and they mm -hmm. got to explore that creative side of them. Right. So after the pandemic, we had people starting their own businesses and they wanted to dip into that creative side of themselves. And kind of showcase it there at the Painted Tree. Exactly. Treat. Yeah, we, we just have give them such a unique opportunity because a lot of small business owners can't get into these prime locations because of the cost probably. exactly right. yeah so we uh 
give them a prime location with a lot of foot traffic and we supply this beautiful community of people that are just inspiring and encouraging and so it was just something uplifting that everybody the vendors and the shoppers were kind of looking forward to after COVID. So now there's more normalcy in the market and mm -hmm. now it's open seven days a week or kind of explain yes. this? Oh a yeah, bit. oh yeah. We are open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. And we only close three days a year, um, Thanksgiving, oh. Christmas, and Easter. So okay. we are almost always open. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, you mentioned earlier, you're here locally in Mansfield off of 287, mm -hmm. Highway 287. Where are your other locations and is this the last one that you opened? So we, as a company, are like growing so fast. That's so great. this may or may not be this, the last location <laughs> uh -huh. in DFW. Our newest location in DFW is our Frisco location. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's Mansfield, Frisco, and? Highland Village and North Richland Hills. Oh, there's four. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have four in the DFW area. Mm -hmm. And we try to, uh, right now we're kind of sticking more, um, middle and eastern but we're kind of growing towards the western part of the country the country the country the yes okay. so we started in arkansas and then texas was our second location we're in georgia illinois uh missouri and we're just now looking into like the kansas area i think wow yeah so how many stores total do you know yet do you know okay i think we're, i think we <laughs> we are opening so many just this summer okay so i think we just opened our 14th or 15th location that is amazing all from a seat of a thought from arkansas exactly okay mm -hmm. well what type of items because we've talked about the store but not really what's in the store mm -hmm. so what can i expect as a new consumer going into your store what would i be on the lookout for? oh my gosh it's so exciting well, I, like, yeah what? so we have just a creative community of shops with hundreds of vendors under one roof that specialize in gifts decor fashion hmm. candles like anything you can think of crafts craft supplies, we've got it all. <laughs> so everyone has their, their a booth mm -hmm. in which they sell their products that yep. they make, I guess. We, we have both. So we have okay. some vendors that make and create their own items and we have some vendors that, um, you know, buy them sure. from a supplier or something uh -huh. like that. So uh, one of our very popular items here in Texas is the Tyler Candles. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So what Tyler does is they're this big company that kind of allows shop owners to sell their line. And so some vendors are able to do that in our store. Wonder now what's your favorite? What's your most favorite booth? Oh my goodness. I know that's probably hard. Okay. It's no, so hard. <laughs> what are some of the few that you know people come in there specifically as a destination to come see? Okay, so for sure the Tyler the Tyler candle. Right. That's I mean they have candles, they have the, the laundry detergent, everybody and it's a staple. Smells good. It smells okay. amazing. It's a staple <laughs> in Texas. So we have that. We also have one of our vendors that carries the Swung Creek candle collection. Okay. And that is oh, they're amazing as well. So candles are big in Texas. Candles right? are big. And uh -huh. <laughs> we also have a lot of clothing vendors mm. um, that just they carry many different lines. One of our more popular items are like the Judy Blue jeans, the Can Can wow. jeans. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of vendors that carry so many different types of those. And, and right now in summer, they have the, all the cute little shorts out right now. And so, swimsuits, I hope, and, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and another thing is there is also a lot of local vendors that make their own stuff. So we have mm. one vendor that comes to mind is... Uh, Downsfield Farms. They what do they make? They make farmhouse tables and farmhouse oh, decor. Oh, okay. Like hand make. Super cute. Yes, like amazing items. And so we have a lot of vendors like that that mm -hmm. you know hand make these beautiful items. And he is located here in Mansfield. And oh. so it just makes it that much special that you know you're buying this beautiful farmhouse table that's going in your house from local from, from here. In well, Mansfield. If I were a vendor and had some products, how could I get into the Painted Tree? So if you are interested in opening a shop at Painted mm -hmm. Tree, mm -hmm. it's so easy. You just go to our website, okay. PaintedTree.com. Mm -hmm. You'll select vendor and then you'll select apply now. And it's so easy. It's just going to ask you your name, your email, like how we can contact you. And then a couple of images of your inventory, oh. you know, just give okay. us a little feel of what 
kind of items you sell mm -hmm. and that's it it's it's super duper easy and we'll get in contact with you within a few days on an average how many booths does each store have in it or is there a minimum or maximum booth number there there's um i wouldn't say there's an average mm -hmm. each location is different in size mm -hmm. but um i would say there's you could probably expect to have about 200 different vendors in one location really yes how many do we have here <laughs> about 200 i think that's it's a little huge less i didn't even yeah. think it would be that big oh yeah oh yeah it's it's amazing because also you can share a space huh. so if we have like a large space that's coming available you can go in you know you have a crafty friend right. you, both of you can Together. be in the store in one space and so that kind of ups our vendor number and then it gives our customers more to shop from and so it's really exciting well i don't want anybody to forget the hours that you have open you said seven days a week to my recollection yes so tell everybody again how many from what to what time can they come to the painted tree so the painted tree all of our locations are open seven days a week from 10 a.m to 8 p.m wow 10 a.m <laughs> y'all hear that 10 a.m to 8 p.m whether it's sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday or friday and there's only three days that you're not open which mm -hmm. is christmas thanksgiving and easter which we're we're not out shopping yeah <laughs> so i'm excited because today i'm going to take i got a gift card for my birthday y'all <laughs> i'm going to go this week or the week after uh -huh. to go to the painted tree awesome. to buy something y'all don't let this hidden treasure that you have in your backyard go to waste i want to thank you isabella for coming in today because i always want to bring you guys some great content and give you some places locally here in mansfield that you can go and take your family okay <laughs> all right any parting words today just thank you so much for having me and i'm so glad that we were able to spread the love that is painted tree oh i love it <laughs> all right y'all as always have a blessed and amazing day thanks for tuning in see you next time